eighth grade. All right, for this week, we are going to do the same as before. We're going to have a little warm up, and then we are going to work some more on your leaf collage composition. Hopefully, you have drawn all your leaves to fill that paper space, but we'll look at those again today. All right, your warm up activity for this week is planets. So, we're going to ask that you quickly, in five minutes, do six quick sketches of planets. The idea is that you brainstorm. Last week, your, your warm-ups looked absolutely terrific. It was so fun to look through them. Some were super creative. And um, we had some, like Jordan T. had a person growing out of hers. RJ had a dancing worm growing out of his. Um, Nick had hand sanitizer, which is such a sign of the times. That was good. Bella, fireworks. So let's get all of those finished up. Annika, Jordan A, and Clara and Colin. Get Make sure you get finished with those. Although Jordan's was absolutely perfect and in color. I don't want to show you mine too much because I want you to brainstorm some really fun ideas. But I will show you quickly what I did. Mine's pretty boring. But I want to see if you can come up with something a little bit more clever. So we'll stop the video now for 5 or 10 minutes and then we'll get back with the lesson. Okay, after you have drawn your leaves to fill your space, they touch each other, they make an interesting composition, you can observe them from all sides. So really, you could hold the paper any way you want to. Then I want you to trace it with a thin Sharpie. After that, of course, we're gonna go back and erase the pencil lines. So remember, you want those lines to be nice and light so that they don't show through the paper. And then we're ready to put some color in there, okay? Put a little line there. All right, so we're gonna use watercolors. And we're gonna use a wet and wet technique. Hopefully you remember what that is. So get a little bit of water, get a paper towel. I like to wet up some colors and kind of think about your colors. Like you could have one leaf be all warm colors and one leaf be all cool colors. It looks much better if you control the colors that you put in each leaf rather than just using all eight colors in one leaf. So maybe two colors per leaf. And with wet and wet, you wet the leaf first so I am wetting this leaf. I gotta be really careful right there because I don't wanna get it on this one. So you're gonna wet the space first so that your colors will bleed. And then you take your color and you just kinda dab it in there. See how it moves around? It'll move and it'll bleed through there. See how it moves? And then sometimes you can even pick up your paper and make it move a little bit more. Then you can add another color to it. Maybe I'll add a little purple. So I'll do some blue and purple on this one. We'll get some really cool colors on this leaf. And you can do one at one end. You can have them kind of bleed together. It looks nice to really have some intense color around the edges. And that way you get that color that contrasts with the white paper. And get a little purple down the stem here. And it should stay right where you wet that leaf. So you can have those colors bleed together. Now, here's the problem. If I do a leaf that's right next to it, then the one leaf will bleed with the other one. So if I do some cool, I mean warm colors and a leaf that's right next to it touching, then I need to be careful because those colors will bleed together. So I'm going to maybe jump around and do one leaf that's not touching the other one. Now, here's the other thing too. Once this dries, like next time, you can always go back and add some more color if you want to. But I kind of like to just put it on there and then manipulate it a little bit and see what happens. You can leave some places blank, all right? And then I'll let that dry a little bit and move on to the next one. Maybe do that one with some other colors. So you can see on here, some have some greens, some have browns, 
Some have those fall red oranges. And like, here's even some purples. Okay, so you have those different color schemes on different leaves. It looks nice to have them all different rather than all the same. And they don't have to be realistic. I mean, let's face it, we don't see purple leaves. That's okay. All right, so take your time with this and we'll work on it again a little bit next time. Have fun, bye. All right, eighth grade. So remember you want to draw your composition with overlapping leaves. You want them to touch each other. You want them to be fairly big, um, fill the paper space. You are going to outline them with a thin black Sharpie. Then you're going to erase your pencil lines and then you're going to watercolor. The most important thing to remember is not to put two wet watercolors right next to each other because the two colors will bleed together. Remember also we're working in a wet and wet, which means you wet the paper first and then you go back and lay in the wet color so that it will bleed through that space. Not into the next leaf, just within that one leaf. All right, have fun with this, be creative. It's gonna kind of start and stop because you're gonna need to let some of those colors dry a little bit before you do the next watercolor, but it'll work out just fine. I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.